KOFY Coffee, TV 20, San Francisco. Presents National Skating Derby's Roller Game of the Week. From the Olympic Auditorium at Los Angeles, California, we're bringing you Roller Game of the Week. Today's game, the Los Angeles Thunderbirds and the Philadelphia Warriors. I'm Dick Lane, attack side. The girls are on the track in the first skating period, and the score is 4 to nothing in favor of the Thunderbirds. This very, they're the home of the, the Los Angeles Thunderbirds. Then we got good news. Judy Sawinski is back in the Thunderbird uniform. But it seems Jess Adams has been uh, wooing her pretty strong, trying to get her to change. But Dave has run out. Jess and I are still trying to uh, talk to Sawinski. Sally Vegas up there. Taking good care. Look out now. Sawinski's over there protecting a fallen warrior. That's Judy Arlo down there. Dave Pound moving down on the track. She did not take her tour around the track tonight when the Thunderbirds were introduced. Judy just stood in the infield and did not move around the track. Huh. Well, that's kind of unusual. Sally and Judy both the lineup. Four sign up, four move. Well, we'll find out what's happening. This season marks the beginning of all dramatic exhibition of roller games on television for one hour only. This is the result of the International League Conference. As American tapes will be interchanged with foreign tapes, and as TV stations in foreign countries, as well as the majority of its citizen American network, are unable to accommodate more than one hour time, it's agreed that hereafter special games would be made for television purposes only, and each game would be one hour duration. And the winner of the game determined after each one hour television game. This television game is for entertainment purposes only and may not be reproduced without the written permission of the National Skating Derby. Up in scoring position now, from little Denise Todd. Double defense now of Congerton and Rupert Mitchell. Little Denise Todd, score tied 4-4. Four, four. Sally Vegas. Sawinski's in the lineup. She picked one off. It's hard to believe. The little one got in. Arnold got in to the defense and picks off little Denise Todd. Four. Four T-Bird points, and they take a lead of eight to four now. And here we go. Look at Sawinski. Ah, oh, come on. Well, there it is. There it is. Ha, ha, ha. Well, that's the way it goes now. It looks like Jets has finally done it. How about that? Well, Dave's not going to stand by and see that happen. Naturally, he's got to discipline her as long as she's wearing that uniform. She better skate like a Thunderbird. I don't blame Dave for that. He sent her on a bench. And she refuses to go to the bench. Huh. How about that? Well, yes, sir. Dave Pound down there. He is burning up. He goes over and he questions Judy again. And Judy just looks away. Well, Jess and Judy Arnold, uh, Jess Adams and Judy Arnold have been working on her pretty good all week long. Here we go now. Jennifer Marshall is on her way. And she draws as an opponent. Their number 61 gal, Cindy Ogbin. Got a virgin front eight to four. We're in the first skating period. Arnold back to defend. Arnold makes contact. And back again. Sally Vega defending against Ogbin. She's doing well against the secondary jammer. Jennifer Marshall again trying. Seven. Six. And Ogbin gets in and picks up four for the Warriors. And that snugs it up. Eight all. Dave Pound in the infield still walking around down there, kind of talking to himself, and he's talking to Sally Vega, trying to get some explanation of what has been going on with this girl, Judy Sawinski. Now, you can't tell me that she has been treated badly by the Thunderbirds. She's back off her vacation. Looks good. And here she is, Thunderbird uniform, and acting like a total stranger. 
jawing away at Dave Pound, and Dave says, get on the track. So he has her replaced. They replace her on the track, put her on the track. They put her in the lineup and took Laszlo out, and here we go. Number four out there is Lois Decker out against the, the number six gal, Congleton. Goodbye, Congleton, as Lois Decker goes on her way. There's the final skater. And laying back to defend at the back of the pack is Big Judy Arnold, waiting now. She shouted something at Dave Pound as she went by. I, I wish we had a microphone down there. We pick up some pretty strong language sometimes. Decker comes again and again is bounced. And again she's down. Zawinski's in the pack, but she's doing nothing to get back to her sister Jammer. Score. Well, look out now. Sally Vega didn't like the way this gal bounced off that jammer. Decker. She sat flat out on Decker's back. And Sawinski knocks Sally Vega down. Now oh, that's all. That is all. Dave Pound is up there. Now he wants a complete. She slapped his face. She slapped his face. And threw her said. She says she quits. She shouted, I quit. I don't believe. She walks off the track. Judy Sawinski left the track. Came up and shouted, I quit. Jess Adams goes out. Oh, come on. Uh, they're working on this team again. There they go. Jess Adams again. Doesn't seem to be end of this man's machinations. He'll tear up anything he gets a hold of. Here we go. Ogben gets out of there now. And with it goes Sally Vega in between two. Earlene Brown, she is screaming. At, oh, and I don't blame her. I don't blame the Thunderbirds one bit. They've done a world of good for this gal. Vega's out of the pack late. She's out against two. Laszlo defending well in the back of the pack. Keeping Arnold up in the pack. She's in there. She's the leading jammer. And she's in now for three. Good one. Vega got in and got three. With a beautiful assist in there from Margie Laszlo, number six. Laszlo, number six. Beautiful assist in there. That ends the period. And as the period ends, we get an official score. Thunderbirds in front. 11 to 8. That's the way it should be. We'll be right back to the men in a moment. Hang in there. Back to the action, the men on the track, 11 to 8. The keepers in front by three. Here's a call for the jammer. And they call for speed, and they get it. This is Harold Jackson. Here comes little Richard Brown, number six, and he's stopped by Big John. Big John Johnson holds him up. Sends number two, Harold Jackson, rookie of the year last year, remember? He'll come up against the defense of the man a moment ago was his jamming opponent. Little Richard Brown, he goes right to the head, holding. Don't lock your hands, Brown. He knocked the helmet off, and he's on his way again. They're running away. Riley picks off one. Big John gets two. Williams, he's got him. He's got him all. He's got him all. Little Richard Brown stops him. Two, two only. I don't believe it. Two, two only. Thunderbirds will take him. You have to get him the hard way, but they take him. Oh, 
Northern Skate. Little Richard Brown again grabs the helmet as a jammer. Along with Bob McDonald, their number three, 63 man. It's McDonald and Brown. The Thunderbirds counter with Greg Quinn and the Little Indian, Little Fox. Incidentally, he has a relative down from Montana. That cheap one Iota. Cheap one Iota down from Montana. To visit his relative, Little Fox, Eddie Williams, out there in number four. The whip against Greg Quinn. Quinn's outnumbered. He's out there against McDonald. And he got out of there. Look at that guy fly. Look at the pit pouring on. Oh, Nelly. He's running like a thief. He's coming up to big Jim Trotter. He scores on him. He got three. How about that? Little Greg Quinn. Can't make it too tough for him. Judy Sawinski defecting. Doesn't mean a thing. The Thunderbirds come right back. Thunderbirds now with a good 11 point cushion, 19 to 8. Called for speed, and they got it. Number 64, their big man, Otis Williams, along with John Drew. Drew, number six and seven. You talk about a madman. There he is, one. Back now to steady his men. Out of the pack late. Number seven, Vernon Jackson. They break through there. Four, six, eight. Snugged it up good. 19 to 11. And again, Dave Brown down there, a very thoughtful man. Time is called by the officials. Dave Brown really thoughtful down there. Time is called. We'll get an official score. He wants to talk to this team. And Mike, he certainly should. Boy, they're trying to tear him down again. That just had him working on Sawinski. Finally made it. There's the score. Tied out, 1916. All right, back to the action. Mormon skate. Let's see who they choose. They call for the jammers to be added up. Jammers are designated by wearing helmets. Only those skaters wearing helmets are permitted to attempt to score. Richard Brown, number 66, and Drew, number 67, for the Warriors. The Thunderbirds counter with their speed. And they got Danny Riley calling for the jammer. Riley gets away first, and he's whipped out of there by Quinn. Little Richard Brown and Danny Riley, and the crowd says, Go, Danny, go, go, Danny, go. Look at that spot trip. He was tripped. That's an illegal block anywhere in the world. Riley drifting back now. He'll take up the defense against little Richard Brown, and he'll be happy to meet him. He says, I'm happy to meet you, Buck Stallone. Where did I hear that? And again, he made one on him. The dog. Drop kicks. That one. 